Hello everyone, welcome back to Car Fix. Today I'm going to be changing a transformer in the halogen bulbs in the roof of my kitchen. As you can see, they all work bar this one in this corner. And a bulb change does not fix the problem. So that is a good bulb in there and the light is not coming on. A couple of years ago, I had a roof leak and a bit of water got in there and I think it stopped this one and this one working. I've since got this one working using a new transformer. So on this one, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Basically, it's some simple wiring you're gonna to need to do, but you will need to make sure you isolate these lights or totally turn off your power and electricity to be able to do this. So for me, that is simple because I've got a modern, um electronics box if you look here it's probably hard to see but it says lights kitchen so if i flip this switch there you go darkness my lights go off and isolate the kitchen lights so there's my dog who wants to come in i'll leave him outside for a minute so yeah i will put the flash on so you can at least see slightly what's going on. So yeah, we'll be taking this light down. It's probably going to be hard for me to film it. So I'll get it out of the roof and then show you what I'm going to do. To get it out, all you do is pull it. It's a bit hard with one hand. There, you can see it's coming down. And in there, you can see there is the transformer. And you also need the main black cable in, which is there that it's hooked up to. So these are all in a circuit from the mains power lines. You see the grey ones and they go to these um, circular hubs and they come out to the transformer, which is here. This is the spec of transformer that I had that are faulty and we will be removing. So you have to get this down from the roof, obviously got the electricity turned off and it will just be the one slot headed screw there. So once I've got that down, I'll come back. So now as you can see that is open and all the cabling is exposed. So you need to a thousand percent make sure your electricity is isolated or you will get a massive shock and potentially kill yourself. So if you haven't got isolation like mine, you can use a multimeter to test this. There's light up pens or failing that just completely and utterly switch the electricity off to your whole house. I cannot stress this enough. So as you can see, the transformer runs from here. Up, you follow the cables and there is a blue and brown cable there. You undo the two screws just slightly untighten them there and there and then this will slip out so as you can see now these brown and blue wires what was connected to the lighting in the roof there's the transformer and then here is the actual light fitting itself so you need to take out the two cables from this which is easily enough you undo this which keeps the cables tidy then undo this and then here's just a plastic chop box type assembly so there you go well, it's just a normal chop box wires go into there screw down the wires for the actual light go into there you don't need to actually touch that side these are very temperamental i found for my light fittings so let's see a couple of the others that i've tried changing before whoever put them in absolutely destroyed the screws and they're a nightmare to get out but this one seems to be all right I'll just undo this fully So 
So you know that's out. See what I mean? These wires are loose. So we'll tighten them up. So you just slot the end of the cable, wire into the box, and tighten it up. Same on the other side. Yep, they're in tight. Now we have a new transformer here. These are not expensive. Four ninety nine, I think they were each on eBay. And as you can see, that compared to my old one, I did look for the exact same model. They don't seem to do them anymore. But as you can see, four point nine max, twenty to sixty rated, sixty volts there, two hundred forty volts, fifty hertz for halogen lamps and dimmable if you want to dim them. So they are the same, obviously just a slightly different make. So all we do for this is re-put the wires into here and tighten them down again. Simple. Give it a little tug and they're in, they're in fine. Now we can go install this back into um, the roof, once I've put the case in on actually. There you go, that's all ready to go back in. So let's get back to the ceiling and I'll get back to you. So here we are, back up at the box. It's a very simple case of blue to blue, brown to brown. I'm not gonna to touch it as I've got the lights on at the moment. So it will be live, so brown to brown, blue to blue. So once I've screwed them back in, I'll test it and see if it works. And there we have it, look, the brown to brown, blue to blue. A good tip for this is, if you think you'll forget where the wires go before you take the old one out, take a picture with your phone so you know where the wires will go. And here we go. Will this light up? Let's click the electricity back on. And will we have light? And there we go. So it's as easy as that, a five minute job. If your halogen light bulb change doesn't work, just changing the bulb, it's like the transformer and it's a five minute job. As long as you do it safely, it is very simple and cheap to fix. So I'll just get this back in the roof and um, I'll show you more work. So there we go, all back up. And there we have it. All the, they're all working. So there's six on this strip. And then there's four on another connection over here. So yeah, it's as easy as that. Take the right safety precautions to make sure your electricity is isolated. Five pound for a transformer, couple of screwdrivers. And it's as easy as that. And on that note, hit the like, favorite and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.